Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm recording this very early Wednesday morning, and by the time you see this, I will already be in Lansing, Michigan, fighting the good fight for all of us. So, here's the latest. Michigan Speaker of the House, Joe Tate, is now saying he's open to a ban on assault weapons. This is according to the Detroit News, and here is the Michigan Speaker of the House right here, apparently applauding when he was listening to speakers at the Michigan Capitol on February 15th. I was there that day and I've talked about it on this channel. So, Michigan House Speaker Joe Tate, Democrat from Detroit, said Tuesday, a ban on assault weapons is something state lawmakers should examine and more work needs to be done to combat violence on top of an initial set of bills that have been introduced. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go back and watch my recent previous videos where I've talked about the now nearly 30 gun control bills that are proposed between the Michigan House and Senate. And you'll see as I continue to read this article, this is just a foundation according to them. This is just a start, believe it or not. So the primary package we're talking about is basically 11 bills with three general subject matters. Did a recent video, I'm gonna put in the pinned comment, I suggest you guys watch with Senator Joe Bellino, Representative Jamie Thompson, and also talking about immediate effect. This is the universal background checks, including long guns, the so-called safe storage that makes it safer for the criminal than for yourself with inside your home. Also the so-called red flag bills. Yeah, take the guns first, then no due process at all, violates half the Bill of Rights, literally insane. Now they want to add more to that. Here's another quote from the speaker. It's something that I'm open to, Tate told reporters after a press conference in Lansing. But we have to dig into it more to see what is going to kinda or going to be kinda the next phase in terms of gun violence reduction legislation. This means you guys need to get back to calling, writing, sharing this video and all my recent videos with your friends and family because this is him telling us they're looking into it. They probably want to pass it, and they're yet again checking the temperature of the room. This is all in reaction to the tragedy at Michigan State, which I would note none of these proposed laws would stop, and all of the already unconstitutional infringements on our Second Amendment that already are laws in Michigan, none of those stopped the criminal either because criminals don't follow laws, and he broke several laws, including murder and going into a gun free zone here's another thing like I said earlier this is just the start it says but key Democrats have acknowledged that other bills will soon be introduced I told you they're gonna keep coming and coming and coming until we make them stop I view those bill packages as the foundation Tate said I think there's more work that needs to be done Giffords Law Center is weighing in here talking about that nine states have enacted laws that generally ban the sale, manufacturing, and transfer of, quote, assault weapons. Last session, and I did a video about this a few months ago, and it was at the very end of the last session, and it did not pass. But I told you guys, this is a big deal. Do you remember the Representative Jeffrey Pepper proposed assault weapons bill? Yeah, that was huge. Depending on how much react, we reacted to that, we'll let the Democrats know how much they can get by with. Last session, then Rep. Jeffrey Pepper, Democrat Dearborn, introduced a bill to ban the sale of assault weapons. His proposal, proposal which didn't advance, defined them as a semi-automatic rifle that has the ability to accept a detachable magazine and has a pistol grip, thumbhole stock, telescoping stock, or any feature capable of functioning as a protruding grip that can be held by the non-trigger hand and a folding or telescoping stock. His proposal would have allowed people who already owned, quote, assault weapons to keep the firearm as long as the individual registered them with the Michigan State Police. So there you go. This is a Marine Corps veteran. This is someone that a lot of people have said is a moderate when it comes to guns. Well, you be the judge of that. At the time of me filming this, now when I'm in Lansing tomorrow, there could be five more bills proposed because there's more bills for gun control being proposed than I can even keep track of reading or reporting on at this point. But 
Does this sound like a moderate to you? Hmm. 29, and he's saying that's just a foundation. They need to keep talking, and essentially, it's just a start, and that the speaker is open to an assault weapons ban in Michigan and other bills that I've been hearing whispers about in the halls of Lansing, even in addition to this. Like I said, guys, you need to call. You need to write. Yes, the Democrats have control. Yes, this stuff's very, very likely to pass unless enough people speak up and demand and say no. We also have some other plans right now. There's something called immediate effect. Check the video in the pinned comment. It's very informative. I want you to share this video and that with as many people in Michigan as possible. All of you who do not live in the state of Michigan, I hope this helps you guys see what could potentially be coming to your states. And I appreciate all of the support from you guys as well. We're also looking at petition potential recalls that could happen if these bills pass. So there are still plans. I'm going to be meeting today with as many legislators as possible in Lansing, representatives, senators. I've already been talking to my friend Brendan from Great Lakes Gun Rights. He's excited to see me there again tomorrow. And I'm also going to talk to him about some strategy. And maybe I'll be able to get a little video with him talking more about what they're doing and what all of us on this channel are doing so we can get united, work together, and try to stop all of this from literally trying to turn Michigan which has a very, very narrow Democrat majority into a communist state overnight. All right, guys, I'll be back reporting more soon because stuff's going through in Lansing right now through committees to the House floor, literally at lightning speed, and I'll be there to report on it as much as you guys want me to. All right, thanks for watching, and have a good one.